Today I have prepared soup filled with variety of fresh vegetables. It's nutritious, healthy, tasty and will keep you warm in this winter. Hello everyone, welcome to CDC. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all techniques to make restaurant kind healthy vegetable soup at home. So let's get started. I have used green onion, green pepper, green beans, carrot, spinach, red pepper, orange pepper, celery, peas, ginger, garlic and corns. I have used frozen corn which I have put in hot water for 5 minutes. Though this recipe is super easy but you still have to do some chopping. Roughly slice beans in roundels. Then cut the carrot from the center and further cut it into 4. Then chop it into medium dice. Roughly chop celery into semi roundels. For cutting spinach, stack up the leaves, then roll the leaves into tight cylinder. Then slice the cylinder crosswise into thin shreds. This cut is also known as chiffonade which means little ribbons in French. Keep all these vegetables in a same bowl. Then divide the green onion in two parts. Roughly slice the white part and keep it in a separate bowl. Then slice the green side and put it separately for later use. Then cut the peppers into even slices approximately 1 fourth to half inch apart. Then gather them together, turn it and cut across the slices to make medium dice. Put all peppers in the same bowl. For preparing ginger, cut a thin slice off from one side to make a stable base. Then thinly slice it. Now, stack up the slices and cut it into thin strips. Gather all strips together, turn them and cut across into very thin slices. For preparing garlic, cut them into thin slices, then gather the slices and further cut it into thin strips. Then, mince it using fan chop technique. Hold the tip of the knife against the cutting board then drop the knife rapidly up and down. At the same time, gradually move the knife sideways across the garlic on the board so the cut pass through all parts of the pile of garlic strips. Now heat up a sauce pot on a medium flame. Once hot, add a little bit of oil, then add ginger garlic into it, followed by one bay leaf. Saute them for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then add green onion white part into it. Saute it for another 30 seconds. Then add carrots, beans, celery and spinach into it. And saute them for about a minute. The reason why I have put different vegetables in different bowl is cooking time duration. Though you can certainly add all vegetables at once but then some flavor and color will be lost due to long time cooking. Now add mixed peppers into it and saute it for about 30 seconds. So basically the idea is long cooking vegetables first and short cooking vegetables near the end. Then add peas followed by corns. I'm using frozen peas which I have soaked in hot water for about 5 to 10 minutes. But if you are using fresh, then put it with other vegetables when you are putting carrots and celery. Saute them for another 20 to 30 seconds. Then add salt followed by black pepper powder. Cooking vegetables slowly in little butter or oil before combining hot liquid improves their flavor and provide soup a mellower and rich taste. Then add hot water. Or if you have vegetable stock then heat it up and then add it. Once it comes to a boil, turn down the flame to medium low, cover it with a lid and simmer it for 15 minutes. Now in a bowl add equal quantity of cornstarch and cold water and mix it to make smooth slurry. After 15 minutes add green onion, 
Then stir the slurry well and add it into the hot soup. Mix it quickly to avoid any lumps. Adding cornstarch is completely optional and desired thickness of the soup is more of the preference. At this stage, turn off the heat, add chili flakes and lemon juice or you can also add soy sauce, vinegar and chili sauce into it or you can just enjoy as it is. Enjoy this piping hot soup to keep you warm in this winter. Do try out this recipe and share your thoughts in comment section. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed it yet then please subscribe it. Your support and appreciation means a lot. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. We'll see you soon in next video. Till then, happy winter eating. Bye-bye. Take care.